Hey guys, it's Jordan with EverythingCatholic.com. Today I wanted to talk about summer reading lists. I love putting together summer reading lists. I'm generally too ambitious and put way too many books on my reading list than I can manage in the summer. Um, but I've got some suggestions here that I'd like to walk you through. Several books from our catalog that I think might make great choices for your reading list. If you've already got a reading list put together, maybe one of these could find a spot on it. If you're starting from scratch, um, maybe a few of these would be good selections as well. Let's start with fiction. Um, that's, again, one of my favorite topics. And uh, this would be too ambitious for a summer, I think. But it'd be a great time to start would be the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, if you're like me, you grew up reading these. And maybe it's been 10, 20, 30 years since you've cracked open one of these books. And they're fantastic. So we've got the complete set of the Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, books one through seven and um, these are put together in the chronological order of the stories as opposed to the order in which they were published right so the first book that C.S. Lewis wrote was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe that's actually number two in the series if you look at it through the chronology so uh, a really cool way to read the Chronicles of Narnia if maybe you read them in publication order in the past this one takes you through everything from the beginning to the end. Um, I know I read these with my kids before they're going to sleep at night. Uh, I'm sure I get more out of it than they do, but it's a great way to introduce them to some of these characters, which are just classic literature characters and such an awesome story that coincides so well with our faith. So um, this would be a great one for the whole family. Um, but if you're a literature nut like I am, uh, maybe it's even better for yourself. So full set of the Chronicles of Narnia, maybe just to start with that this summer. If you get through a book or two, that would be fantastic, but probably not going to tackle the whole seven book series. Summertime might also be a great opportunity to reconnect with sacred scripture in a special way. Um, for us anyway at home, the mornings are a bit slower now that the kids are out of school. There's not the usual rush really early in the morning to get everybody dressed, lunch is made, and kids out the door before the start of the school day. So there's more time to spend reading scripture, to having a prayer time. If that's something that you found difficult to do during the school year, maybe you can get back into that during these summer months. And it might be a great way to kind of reset for the rest of the year since we're about halfway through at this point. If the Bible is something that you struggle with, or you just generally don't enjoy reading the Bible. Um, I've got two selections here that might be worth your while. Um, the first one is You Can Understand the Bible by Peter Kreeft. Uh, this is a best-selling book on our catalog, really unpacks the Bible and helps you make sense of sacred scripture in new ways. Anything from Peter Kreeft is brilliant, and this is maybe a really good starting point if you're not familiar with his writing. And then the second one is from a Catholic Answers apologist Jimmy Aiken, The Bible is a Catholic Book. So I think a lot of times uh, Christians might assume that Catholics don't really know the Bible very well, and maybe that's a <laughs> truer statement than we'd like to admit. Uh, but if you don't like that stereotype and want to change that, this book right here would be a great way to unpack the scriptures in a new way for you, help you understand it, and help you understand the close connection that the church has with the scriptures. Um, so fantastic from Jimmy Aiken, The Bible is a Catholic Book. If you want to use the summer months to learn a bit more about how to defend the faith or explain Catholicism to some of your non-Catholic friends and family members, um, I've got three books here that are awesome apologetics books. Uh, from Trent Horn, we have Why We're Catholic, unpacks all the reasons why we believe what we believe as Catholics. Trent Horn's a fantastic author. He's another Catholic Answers apologist. Um, you may have seen him on YouTube or listened to some of his podcasts. He speaks very clearly and eloquently about all aspects of the faith. And so this is a fantastic book to help you if you are a budding apologist. Uh, similarly, Brandon Bott has this book right here, uh, What to Say and How to Say It, that really helps you to clearly uh, articulate what we believe as Catholics and how to answer some tough questions that people might ask you that maybe are topics you've taken for granted if you're a lifelong Catholic and don't really know why you believe what you believe and how to say the right things to make sense of it. This is another great one right here. And then lastly, this one was written for converts. You may be a convert to Catholicism or you may know someone who is. Um, this one right here unpacks 
Roman Catholicism from a convert's perspective. And it's from our friend Keith Nestor. Um, I would wager to say that even if you are a cradle Catholic, this would be a fantastic book that would open your eyes to some things about the church and about our faith that maybe you aren't super familiar with or never really understood why we do what we do. Um, so again, all three of these books right here would be awesome selections if you want to spend some time this summer learning about apologetics and how to defend our faith and how to answer questions that Protestants or non-Christian friends might ask. Summertime might also be a great opportunity to dive in and learn a bit more about the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And we've got three books that I think do a really good job of that. The first one is The Case for Jesus by Brant Pitry that unpacks biblical and historical evidence for uh, the existence of Jesus. So a really fantastic book that will help you understand not just theory or things that we believe, but actual concrete proof that Jesus did exist and came uh, to earth to save us. If you want to learn more about Mary, we've got Behold Your Mother by Tim Staples, a Catholic Answers apologist. This one unpacks Marian doctrine uh, in a fantastic way. Really interesting book that helps you understand why we believe what we believe about Mary. Uh, do Catholics worship Mary? Why do we pray to Mary? Who should Mary be in our relationship with Christ and with God? And what role does she play in our faith? This is a great one. And then lastly, if you're interested in learning more about St. Joseph, uh, who is silent in Scripture, you know, we learn about him in Scripture, but he never actually has any words attributed to him. Uh, he never said anything in Scripture. But this book right here by Father Boniface Hicks unpacks a lot about who St. Joseph is and the example that he sets and other saints in history who have lived through his example. So it's a great way to get to know uh, the patriarch of the Holy Family. And lastly, we don't want to forget the kids. Um, this would be an awesome book to give to kids uh, if they're getting prepared for Mass, maybe on the drive to Mass or even during Mass to help them understand what's going on. Uh, why we do the different things we do during the Holy Mass, why we say the prayers that we say, what's really happening during Mass. It's called the Holy Mass, and it's by um, our friends who do Building Blocks of Faith. And they use Legos to illustrate the different aspects of the Mass and what's really going on. This is a super cool book. It's written kind of like a comic book uh, with awesome pictures and uh, text throughout, but all the pictures use Legos to illustrate what's happening in the Mass. So that's it. Uh, that's an ambitious summer reading list, but again, maybe a few of those items, a few of these books might be worth a place on your summer reading list if you've got one already put together or are starting to put one together. All the way from fiction to apologetics, theology, something for the kids, and learning about the Holy Family. So we hope that these are helpful and that you might find one of these books to be of interest this summer and that it helps you grow closer to God and closer to your faith.